What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in this exciting video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Windows 11 computer so that you're able to run Android apps. This is currently available to the Windows Insiders running Windows 11 beta. This release was released today, the 20th of October, 2021. And even if I can't get it working on this virtual machine over here, you'll understand by the end of the video how to run Android apps on your own computer. It's very exciting. And of course, this is just the start of it. So if you'd like some information in the description down below, you'll find a link across to Microsoft's blog. That'll take you across to this page over here, explaining exactly what you need to do in order to get the Windows 11 beta and set up Android apps. Getting started, you'll need to be running the latest version and meet these hardware requirements. Then you may need to enable virtualization in your PC's BIOS slash UEFI. Then you'll need to make sure that you're running the latest Microsoft Store version. Your PC's region must be set to the US. Your PC must be in the beta channel. And you'll also need to have a US-based Amazon account in order to use the Amazon App Store. Awesome. So let's get started. First of all, you'll need to make sure you're running the Windows 11 beta build. Hit Start, open Settings, then head across to Windows Update. Then Windows Insider Program and choose your Insider Settings. Choose the Beta or Dev Channel over here. I'm running the latest version of the Dev Channel, so it should be included here as well. And you'll also, of course, need to be signed in with an Insider account in order to be running the Insider build. I've installed this on a fresh VM without the need for such. On top of this, you'll need to head to the System tab over here and click About at the very bottom. You'll need to make sure that you have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and you're running 22,000 or higher i.e. the latest beta build. Awesome. From there, we'll need to enable virtualization, which there is a guide for it linked here. So first of all, we need to enable the virtual machine platform on our computer. Hit start and type in Windows features and then click on turn Windows features on or off. When this new window opens up, scroll down until you see virtual machine platform and check this. You may also be required to check the Windows hypervisor platform, though I'm not entirely sure. Then hit OK then you'll need to restart your computer. Now that the features have been enabled, all we need to do is install the Amazon App Store, which should install the Windows subsystem for Android, which comes with the Amazon App Store, which just in case it doesn't, heading back to this page and clicking this link here, takes you across to aka.ms slash Amazon App Store. That is this over here. Opening up the Microsoft Store. There we go, the Amazon App Store. But unfortunately, you can see that this isn't working. This app will not work on your device, even though my device does reach the minimum requirements. What exactly can we do from here? Well, thanks to Pure Infotech, where I found out this information, you are able to get this app through other sources. In the description down below, you'll find another link to store.rg-adguard.net. Then when you get across to this page here, you'll need to copy the next link from the description down below. This one takes you to the Windows subsystem for Android with Amazon App Store. Copy that link, paste it in here, change it from RP to slow, click the tick box, then scroll down here and you'll see a bunch of links at the very bottom. All we need to do is download this MSIX bundle at the very bottom here, 1.2 gigabytes, and it'll then download onto your computer. This will of course take some time depending on your internet speed. There we go. What you need to do now is open an administrator PowerShell console into this folder here. Hit start, type in PowerShell, and open up Windows PowerShell as administrator. Then what we need to do is CD into C, CD users, followed by your username, which in my case is Techno, downloads, and enter. Now, inside of here, we're gonna run a command that you'll find in the description down below. Add hyphen app x package dot slash and hit tab until you find the MSIX bundle here. Then simply hit enter and it'll be installed on your computer. If you see something like this talking about a framework that couldn't be found, which in my case is Microsoft UI XAML 2.6, reopen your browser and look for these up here. UI XAML 2.6, wada wada wada. Look for the latest version here for your computer, in my case 64, and it'll be downloading this as well. This is simply a requirement. Then we'll be running add apex package, though this time we'll be selecting the UI XAML. And after running that, try running the installer again. And this time things should work successfully. Awesome, done. Now, if you hit start, you should now see the Windows subsystem for Android, as well as the Amazon App Store here somewhere. But that's not showing up for me. So Windows subsystem for Android, here we go. 
And of course, you're able to customize this as you like. Subsystem is always running or subsystem runs when needed app start more slowly. You can customize some things in here, but of course it's now installed and enabled on our computer. And now at this point, you should be able to open up the Amazon App Store. However, that hasn't installed here for me, unfortunately. But by following through with this guide up until this point, things should be working properly. Of course, I'm running it on a virtual machine as I'm not yet comfortable installing Windows 11 on my desktop computer, but I may install it on my laptop and show you how to sideload applications tomorrow. But anyway, that's about it for now. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taking over here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helps you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.